Hey everyone, it's Mike here from BlastProcess.com. Today we're going to look at a setting up guide for the HD PVR2 from Hopage. So first off we have the cables that come with the device. So here, as you can see, this is the, the brand new PVR2. And it comes supplied with two HDMI cables. power supply, the USB cable to connect it to your PC, and a component cable to connect it up to your PlayStation 3 because the PlayStation 3 cannot connect directly via the HDMI due to compatible issues with the PS3. So the component is a workaway around to make sure you can run it in HD and record. Okay, so connecting the device up is a fairly simple process. You've got your, your power lead. You've got the connection cable to connect to your PC. HDMI in and your HDMI out. It's very importantly that you connect these into the right order of your device. So as you can see there's an Xbox so you would connect the HDMI in onto your Xbox. And the HDMI out of the device into the back of your TV. And of course, the main power supply. And as you can see, the Hapage HD PVR2 will start flashing because that's trying to indicate that it's working and it's looking for a device. So you connect it to your PC by USB. Uh, 2.0 and your setup should look similar to this you'll have the display going straight onto the your TV without the need of the software to be running and then onto the PC side you'll need to install the ArcSoft Showbiz software if you load that up you'll have a couple of options you can also edit and produce your videos directly from this program you want to go into capture and if you just give it a second to load you'll see on the top left it'll say source this will show a couple of different options like if you've got a webcam built in or if you've got some other external devices you want to click on the Hapage HD PVR2 and once that's selected you'll see your the gameplay screen direct to your PC and it will also still be displayed on your TV there's a couple of different options that you can change like brightness and gamma or contrast or that kind of stuff. You could also change the bit rate which is basically the quality settings. As standard it's on it's about 5. You want to put that up to about 12 and that will give you the best quality picture but also it'll come out as a very large file size so you might want to mess around with the bitrate settings to depending on how, how fast your PC is or how much hard drive space you've got and then it's a simple case of selecting record and as you can see it will start recording the device there's a slight delay to the PC well, you'll be playing it on your TV anyway, so those couple of seconds won't make much difference. And then once you've done, you just need to click stop. And that'll export the file in your desired folder, and then you can use the ArcSoft software to directly upload it to YouTube, or you can edit yourself with a different program. And again, if you have any questions or comments, then give us a shout and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our videos for future
Gaming Related Products.